So what we're gonna go ahead and do is use this MDF, it's a three quarter inch for the rails and styles on the shaker doors um, and drawers. Now we're gonna go ahead and use this because it holds paint well, it will work just fine, uh, and it's actually kind of nice because it, if it dents or anything, you can actually bundle this stuff. Easy to fix for a rental house too. I'm gonna go ahead and do two and a half inch styles. That's the border around the panel in the middle. So let's go ahead and get this cut up. I think you're gonna like it. We're gonna cut these at two and a half. Actually, we're gonna cut them at two and three quarters. Uh, it'll come out to with an eighth inch blade. It'll come out to two and five eighths. I'll use the table saw just to straighten it out. We're gonna go ahead and rough cut these to length and make sure we have what we need and then we can go ahead and dial it down to the exact measurements. Let's go ahead and get this chop saw humming. Everybody, okay, I got all these for the doors that are gonna be uh, tongue and groove. And what we're gonna do is, I keep these because I always mark everything set so I don't get confused with what I want. We're gonna have to cut a groove in this to accept the panel. And then on these short ones, we have to cut the tenon on each side. Now there are different ways you can do it. And you can do it like this with a table saw. But I'm going to show you a really easy way to do it with these bad boys. These are Freud's. Uh, they are the style and rail cutters. They're, they're kind of, I say, go from, they'll be able to do adjustable grooves from 7 seconds to 3 eighths. Uh, and from half inch thickness to an inch and a quarter thickness. Now, most of the time you're gonna use this for uh, just three quarter inch uh, for doors and rails. But with these, you have nice big cutters here that you can adjust for that. Uh, you have shims and so forth for this to adjust it to what you need it for. Uh, easy setup. Cutting long ways along the router fence is easy and sweet. That works just great. You know, there's not a whole lot of things you're gonna, you know, get caught up on. But when you're needing to do the ends like this and get those cut, you can't run it through by just trying to hold it on the fence. This took me about 10 minutes to make. Um, this is gonna be what I'm gonna hold on to to hold the pieces on that I can get and route the ends. So I, what I do is I put a sacrificial piece in, then the actual piece I'm gonna be cutting and what this is, I set this guard uh, three quarters of an inch away. Uh, most of the time you're, you're talking about a half inch, uh, seven sixteenths to a half inch, or even a quarter to a half inch, I guess, uh, that you're gonna actually be cutting on the groove. So what I did is I made sure this here and this block here is absolutely 90 degrees square to each other. You're gonna take like this along the fence Say, let's just say this is a router fence. The plexiglass, you make it out of anything. I like being able to see. Then you take these, put them up against the fence, you like that, and then you're all set. Now, Rockler sells one of these. Uh, a few other places do too. They, they really work nice, but you're only talking about 10 minutes and some scrap pieces. You know, and yet I'm sure most of you have one of these clamps around. I use this type of clamp right here because I like to hold it by that instead of having the handles come up. So I can use it like this and just run it through. And that holds it real good. The sacrificial piece so you have no tear out. Here, let's go ahead and take it over to the router and I'll show you how it works.
Now that I've got all the rails and styles grooved for the, the panel insert, we're gonna have to go ahead and get the ends cut off now. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up the bit for that. We'll get those done now. Having a bit set like this, they do cut nice, they do cut straight, and it's fast. You got all the panels cut. It's this easy to put them together. Uh, so you can do it like this. Set your panel in. Uh, let's go ahead and get this topping on. And then, but as you can see, when you measure this stuff out, it should go right to the top of that. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on. You're just gonna end up getting the tops or the getting everything nice and flush. Uh, panel sets in there really nice. Um, okay, now all we're gonna do is go ahead and get these. We can get these glued together, uh, and that's our panel. Front back looks nice and it'll hold paint well. We'll get that glued together here shortly. Okay, as far as the drawer fronts and the pull out uh, front, there is going to be a little bit different. Be, and I want you to know this because when setting up the tongue and groove for this, you're going to have two sides. See, this is one side, that's the face side. And what that is, is because we're doing a half inch panel that we'll go ahead and wrap it, it'll fit in that groove.
I got everything ready. I got it sanded. Uh, the piece didn't need to be sanded. And we're gonna go ahead and get these put together now. They're kind of easy to put in. We'll go ahead and get. Now remember, you you will have base, you know, the offset on here. So be sure you make sure you get that lined up. And then uh, if you don't have some of these, they're at Walmart. Um, they're actually in the food area. Nothing sticks to them. Uh, and they do have a little grip on the back, so they, they stay put on the table. So it's kind of nice for a glue up. And that's a pro tip right there. I buy these and I cut them in half, you know, cut them. It's usually the, these are, there's one piece I cut in half. But anyways, what we're gonna do is we're actually, because this is all MDF, uh, we're gonna get this set up, we're gonna glue everything. So we're gonna glue in the slot to glue this together to this. And I do that because, well, it just kinda works better. Um, as one solid piece, it stays together a lot longer. So we're gonna go ahead and get this first one put in. You don't have to put a lot of pressure on it when you're blowing these up if it's all MDF. Because it just, what happens in there is the MDF, unless it's the waterproof style, will soak it up and swell. So this dude right here is gonna swell together, even with the glue, it's gonna just make it stay a lot longer. I mean, it's gonna really make it a, a nice solid panel. Now that we got everything glued up and it's dried overnight, uh, any excess like that, you can just kind of give it a, give it a little chisel off there. It comes off real easy. So we'll go ahead and do that for all of them and start sanding them down. You want to go ahead and round the corners. And you're just going to give it just a kiss. Just so it holds the paint real nice. And it actually gives it a nicer look if you ask me. What you're going to end up doing is just rounding all the edges over just so it holds the paint real well. 